Rooster Teeth, I swear, you will never, ever, ever run out of ideas when it comes to a new character. You will come up with an original character design, a creative weapon, and an epic personality. Just Flint and Neon Cat. Oh my gosh. I love these guys. I love them. Just, and, and even what's her today's face? I think her name was CL or something. Uh, like Penny's friend. All right. Uh, I even liked her. I even liked her. Okay. I liked her design. I liked her voice and everything. Her personality. Just rooster teeth. You love your characters. And it shows. They have fun with them. It's just... A, it's, it's so cool, man. It's really, really cool. Alright. Just Flint... Let me talk about Flint for a second, okay? His very being is utter swag factor, man. Alright? You just see, like, his look... You hear his voice, his attitude, and then he has the trumpet, man. And then he has, like, his killer quartet. Like, yo, <laughs> so cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm starting to think that either half of this season or the entire season will take place at the tournament. Because if you remember, they've been hyping up this tournament since, I'd say, around towards the end of season one. Okay, so since they've been hyping up it up for, you know, about two years, then they're probably going to stretch out the tournament for the majority of the season or the entire season, all right? And that's not a bad thing. I look forward to it, okay? And just the tournaments are amazing. Now, Neon Cat, sure, she was kind of irritating, but... I still liked her anyway, all right? Just, she's a faunus, all right? And uh, she was on rollerblades, so colorful, and how she was just teasing or, honestly, you could really say bullying because she called Yang fat, <laughs> okay? Like, we, I'm pretty sure we all felt the same thing when we kept on seeing Neon Cat just teasing and teasing and just even more constantly teasing Yang. We all knew. We knew what was coming, man. It's like that one guy in the booth said, you will not like Yang when she's upset. <laughs> Trying not to steal the entire quote from the Hulk, alright? <laughs> like, and then Yang, bam, took them both out, man. That, that was great. And Weiss sacrificed herself. Now... If you saw my live reaction last week, which by the way, I won't do any more live reactions to Ruby because you guys didn't really seem to like my live reactions to Ruby. So if you saw my live reaction last week, then you know that I don't, I'm not really a big fan of, of uh, Weiss. I really, really don't like her, but I gotta admit, that was pretty cool of her. All right. Even Flint had to give some respect to her. <laughs> that, that was great. A really, really enjoyable episode. Now what's going on with Cinder? She's taking an interest in Penny? What's up with that? Hmm. And then we have it at the end here where Pira is some sort of number one candidate for what? I don't know, but something uh, about Osbin. All right. And I need more Pira greatness. All right. Pira is one of the bays. All right. Like Blake. Is first bay because Blake, she's probably like, she's like one of my personal waifus. I love Blake, all right. I need to get myself a Blake figure. That's how much I love her, all right. Next would probably be Pira. No, Neo, then Pira, all right. I know we haven't seen too much of Neo, but come on, it's Neo. <laughs> I love her. They gotta make a figure for Neo, that would be cool, all right. So, catch me tomorrow as a review, Mr. Osamatsu. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.